Manchester City Council has 96 councillors, mostly Labour. The nine-member executive takes the decisions, but the other 87 councillors aren't just rubber stamps. One way they hold the executive and the council bureaucracy to account is via oversight and scrutiny committees. There are six of these, and they represent the interests of local people about important issues that affect them. How? By looking at how the decisions, policies and services of the council and other key public agencies impact on the city and its residents. They do not take decisions, but can make recommendations to decision makers. The committees, made up of roughly 18 councillors, meet every six weeks. These meetings are clustered, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, over three days. And those six committees are Children and Young People, currently chaired by Councillor Mark Comody, Citizenship and Inclusion, currently chaired by Liberal Democrat Councillor Brendan Jones, Health and Wellbeing, currently chaired by Councillor Eddie Newman, Resources and Governance, currently chaired by Councillor John Flanagan. Climate change will impact on all these agendas, but right now, two committees are particularly relevant. Economy, Employment and Skills, currently chaired by Councillor Joanne Green. It will be producing, with signatories of an open letter, a report on steady state economics. And finally, Communities and Neighbourhoods, currently chaired by Basil Curley, and the committee that has done the most scrutiny of the Council's climate change action plans. Agendas and papers go up on the Council's website a week before meetings. Meetings take place in Manchester Town Hall and are open to the public. Members of the public do not, however, have the right to speak, but may do so if invited by the Chair. If you have a special interest in an item on the agenda and want to speak, tell the Committee Officer, details on the Council's website, and they'll pass on your request to the Chair. While making this video, McFly heard a rumour that after May 2012, the setup of the ONSs will change. Watch this space.